Ending our big story tonight, changes could be on the way to a popular shooting range and the way that it handles uh, crowds after the death of a young woman from a stray bullet. The Bureau of Land Management is making the move to temporarily close the area after safety concerns. A fundraising page has been set up for the victim, Cami Gilstrap. This tragedy is raising several questions about the legality of shooting areas that really don't have the regulations of established shooting ranges. Team 12's Charlie Edsity is verifying Arizona's rules when it comes to open air shooting. Well, in comparison to other states, Arizona has some of the least restrictive gun laws in the country, but there are some rules that gun owners should know before they go out and shoot. Desert shooting locations like this one are peppered across the state, considered by some to be part of life for those who own guns in Arizona. So there's a lot of reasons people might go choose to shoot out in the desert rather than a formal range. One is simply a question of distance. So most ranges are limited on how far you can shoot. And there's also the cost and restrictions on certain types of guns and in general just more rules compared to the outdoors. But what are the laws when it comes to shooting in open air spaces? When going out to shoot in the desert, the first question you have to ask is who owns or controls this land? And the answer to that question can get pretty complicated. Is it a local, state, or federal agency? Depending on who owns the land, the answer changes. So there's a difference between BLM land or national forest land or state trust land or private property. State trust land, you can't ever shoot there unless you have a valid hunting permit and you're going on that hunt. The area where police say 24 year old Cammie Gilstrap was accidentally shot is split between the Bureau of Land Management and the city of Buckeye. Signs outline general rules, but shooting out there is completely legal. Once you're there, you really have to verify your backdrop. You have to look what's around you or other other people. The woman's family issued this statement tonight saying, quote, we are shocked and devastated at the passing of our beloved wife, daughter and friend. We thank everyone who has has reached out in love to share their condolences. And the family of Cami Gilstrap is fundraising to cover the cost of transporting her back to Oklahoma. And if you would like to make a donation, we posted the link to that account on our 12 News homepage. We're in the Alert Center, Charlie Ed City, 12 News.